Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So I wanted to pick up on this rotary topic, um, you know, and different options that we have for uh, rotary machining. So I just want to set up my uh, my stock here and uh, my zero. Okay. So you in in the last video that I posted in the thread, you could see how the the toolpath was running around the part, and uh, you know. So what are the additional options that are available in the rotary toolpath? Now, it, when you when you purchase the four axis standard, you do get indexing, wrapping, and rotary. Uh, our mill four axis rotary is a standard. Um, standard four axis toolpath. Uh, what I want to do from here is um, set up a ball mill. Okay, so when we get into our patterns, uh, this controls like how the toolpath is going to be direct, uh, generated. So you have around the shape. Um, you also have a long, and we can do a zigzag as well. So you could do a single direction or bi-directional. Um, you have a side shift to push the cutter off center to, to help with it uh, cutting more with the side of the cutter uh, as it engages the material. Uh, a couple of other options for what is the rotary axis and uh, base point is where you have a shifted uh, center where, you know, instead of your uh, tool path being generated around this center point, you could make it up here like if you're working on a cam lobe or something like that. But, um, all right, so we'll get into our parameters. This is fine. I'm just going to drop down my, uh, my tolerances. Start cut's going to be zero, end cut's going to be 58 mil, or no, um... 58 divided by 25.4. Okay. So then, um, lead, I'll just add a parallel so that it starts off the part. And then, uh, we'll go ahead and compute that. And what we'll see here is that the tool path is going to run back and forth, uh, running down the X axis, and then it rotates, and then it comes back and it rotates. So we'll take a quick simulation of this to see what's going on. And I'll post this up in the thread and uh, any feedback that you guys have about uh, the rotary strategy, uh, let me know. Uh, next, I'll be uh, picking up some videos on uh, the multi-axis for the same part and uh, ways that you can use that. Alright guys, thanks so much.